All right, so it says let one week supply S and demand D functions for gasoline be given by uh, P equals D of Q, which equals 300 minus 3 fifths Q, and P equals S of Q, which equals 2 fifths Q, where P is the price, so P is the price, and Q is the number of 42 gallon barrels. So, so basically what it is is Q represents a barrel and it just so happens that one barrel holds 42 gallons. Okay. All right. So, uh, I guess the way they have this written, it's, you know, it's kind of, well, I guess not really weird, but, uh, basically what it is, this is our demand function. Okay. So we can write it as our demand function is P equals 300 minus 3 fifths Q and our supply function is P equals and then that is 2 fifths Q. Alright and they want us to find the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price. Well Q represents the quantity and P represents the price. Basically what you have here and I mean I'm just going to sketch this out. It's not going to be really accurate. I'm not even going to put any numbers on here. But but basically what you have, the demand function is going to look something like this. Okay, It has a y-intercept of 0, 300, so that would be up here up here somewhere and the slopes negative so we know it's going to come down like this and then the supply function okay the supply it's gonna look I don't know maybe something like that it's going up because it has a positive slope okay so what we're doing is we're looking for that intersection point here okay and remember this is your Q axis and this is your P axis. Okay, so Q is like your X value and P is like your Y value. All right, so we want to find the equilibrium quantity. So the equilibrium, that's that's where they intersect. That's where they equal each other. All right. <clears throat> so, well, how do we find that? Well, we take this and set it equal to this. Okay. So let's do that. So we have, uh, let's see, <clears throat> we have 300 minus 3 fifths Q equals 2 fifths Q. So let's solve for Q. So if I add 3 fifths Q to both sides, that's going to be 300 is equal to, well, that turned out nice, 2 fifths, 2 fifths plus 3 fifths is what? 5 fifths, which is just 1. So we get Q is equal to 300. And this is actually part A. And then for part B, they want us to find the equilibrium price. So for part B, the equilibrium price, well, all we do is take this quantity we found here and plug it into either one. Well, I think it'd be easier just to plug it into this one. So the equilibrium price is 2 fifths times 300, which that's going to be what? 600 over 5. And so what is that going to be? Um, 120? Yeah. 120. And that's going to be 120. 42 gallon, um, yeah, 42 gallon barrels. And so that's your equilibrium price. I'm sorry, I labeled the wrong one. That is $120, and Q, this is 300. 42 gallon barrels and that go with that
that answer. That's what the 300 represents, the number of 42 gallon barrels. And then this is your equilibrium price. That would be the coordinates of this point here. The coordinates of this point would be 120, 300 if you wanted to plot that point. All right, so I hope this helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.